What's crackalike in YouTube? This is your boy Deshaun, and what you're watching right now is a die rise tutorial on how to get the high rounds using a squall of fire camping method. So what you want to do in this room is you want to find any parts for the trample scheme, and then just juggle them to the door so that you can retrieve them later. And what you also want to do is rack up as many points as you can. So what I do is I shoot the zombies in the legs and then knife them. And then what you also want to do is you want to rebuild a window four times so that you can rack up the maximum amount of points in this first room. Then you want to head down to the power. Once you get down to the power, you want to turn on that bad boy and then you're going to collect any parts that help you build the squalifier. And then you want to build that bad boy as it is crucial to this camping stretch. Then you want to head up via the elevators and build the trample steam. But it's crucial that you build it before the monkey rounds. And also, you want to buy a sidearm. Now, I bought the B23R here, but you can literally buy any sidearm. You can buy uh, the MP5, you can buy the PDW, but I just chose the B23R because it was just there. I bought Jug, but you don't have to buy Jug. But what you want to do in Monkey Round is just use the Trample Steam to kill the monkeys, as you may know. If you get 100% accuracy on the monkeys, as in don't miss a shot, then you will get a free perk at the end. Now, you can use anything to get 100% accuracy. You can use a claymore, you can use a shotgun, you can use grenades. Now grenades don't have to hit them per se, you can throw them anywhere and still get the free perk. And the claymores don't have to hit them. And it's a hard thing to actually like guess where when the adult monkey rounds are going to come. What's certain about them is they could come either around 5, 6, or 7. But timing them afterwards is nearly impossible. As soon as you get your free perk, you want to go over here and you want to get your claymores. Then you want to head down to the Buddha room. Once you get to the Buddha room, you want to go to the spot where I am here. Take those claymores and place them right here. Now the next part is extremely crucial. What you want to do is gather some hot dogs, a tent, a guitar, and pitch a fire. Because you're going to be camping. Now this spot is really nice because the Squalifier utilizes slopes to its advantages. It makes the zombies so that they cannot get you and this is a really slopey area so the zombies really cannot get you and the squalifier is really good because it works on round one the same as it works on round 100. It will kill them instant. Now what you want to do is take that trample steam and do what I'm doing right now and make sure to place it away from any area where you can jump off the map because that can screw you up epically to get your free perks. So you really don't need to buy any perks besides Jug and either Quick Revive or Who's Who. Because once you get down here, all you really need to do is just like use the monkey rounds to get free perks. And a common misconception with Claymores is that people run and place them behind them, which is really wrong. What you should do is you should run, place them in front of you, and then run past that Claymore. Because if you place them behind you, the monkeys can dodge them and you just wasted a claymore. But if you place them in front of them and run past them, they'll die off, most likely. And then you just keep doing that strategy. And then what you want to do is just place claymores over here or any spot away from zombies just in case. And then once the round starts, place more claymores here so the zombies don't bum rush you and fuck you up. Now, once you feel confident on perks, you can run around or you want to save some zombies and you can run around and buy other guns that you deem necessary or at any time as you want really. I chose to use that little jump to get the AN-94 because I was getting tired of this B-23R and uh, yeah. Now what people typically used to do on old zombies is save zombies or save a crawler at the end of the round to go get your perks which is wrong because on this game even if you leave like slow walking zombies they'll spawn off and they'll become running zombies if you leave crawlers they'll just die if you leave one zombie that's walking it will die off too so what you really want to do if you leave off zombie or if you leave crawling zombies to leave at least three they will die off and they will become runners so you want to leave three at least but what I do here is what is a better alternative is I just wait for a monkey round. I leave one monkey to run around with. Leaving monkeys are better because when they spawn off, they don't die off. And their hits don't do that much damage. And once you leave your monkeys, you want to take this opportunity to pack a bunch of guns and to hit the box. Now when you're hitting the box, it's crucial that you get monkeys. But I didn't get monkeys in this gameplay because and it ultimately came to my death. So you want to grab a knuckles too. And you want to go back to the Buddha spot, but with your monkeys. Another common misconception, how people think that you 
have to use the trample steams to get your free perk. You don't have to use the trample steam. It's just 100% accuracy. Now, I'm going to show you now why you need monkeys. Because it ultimately led to my death. When you go, when you're using the squalifier, it makes the floor slippery. So you want to be careful when you're running out of that room. Because you will slip, and you might slip into a horde, and you won't be able to get back up. Now here, I just get fucking slapped, and I die. When you, so when you see a perk, you just want to throw it. You want to throw the monkey, and then run after that perk. Don't ever run after the perk without throwing a monkey. Now, the good thing about playing solo with who's who in quick revive is, you can revive yourself, or you can choose to not revive yourself, and just let your quick revive revive you for you. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.